Hi everybody, welcome to the Off the Grid Revolution. Today what I want to do is just sort of ramble about a bunch of stuff that's going on these days, uh, to share some things with you, um, to continue uh, the revolution that our friend Bernie Sanders has asked us to do. You may recall in one of our previous um, videos, we mentioned the idea of um, linking up with Bernie's ongoing revolution in his, at his website called Our Revolution. That's OurRevolution.com. Now, um, this is what Bernie Sanders has done. He basically has moved on, uh, moved back into Congress, and now he's going to be uh, promoting issues and promoting uh, candidates who are progressive. He's continuing his branch of the revolution through the system. Um, different perspective than Chris Hedges or Cornell West would have or the Green Party would have, but nonetheless, it's one way to continue the revolution. That's Bernie Sanders' um, new uh, website, ourrevolution.com. Uh, go there and listen to some of the suggestions that Bernie has for you to figure out how you can continue your revolution. You can do that with others or you can do that on your own. Um, one of the things I think that's necessary for us to do is to stay informed with what the issues are. And so today I'm going to spend a little bit of time talking about the podcasts that I look at, um, listen to, um, especially at night. Uh, after I've finished my meditation, if I still can't sleep, I'll put on a podcast and just listen to it um, and um, allow myself to fall asleep as it occurs. Uh, picking up information that way. That way I utilize even more of my downtime than I have otherwise. It's doing two things at once. It's resting and it's learning. Um, so let me mention a couple of the podcasts that um, that I have uh, as um things that I listen to on a regular basis. Um, one of them is called uh, Coffee Party USA Radio, and basically it's the left's perspective um, of the Tea Party. Uh, you might want to go to that podcast and see what they have to say. Um, in addition to that, I also continue to listen to um, What Would Bernie Sanders Do, the podcast, because it, during the uh, election, they had a What Would Bernie Sanders Do uh, program uh, that talked about the election, and now they're addressing the issues that Bernie Sanders addressed in the election on an ongoing basis. So you can listen to What Would Bernie Sanders Do um, as another podcast to, um, to enlighten yourself. Another one is called Best of the Left, and this is the progress... Uh, the best of progressive radio and television uh, in a podcast form. What they do is they address an issue and then they give like what Tom Hartman has to say about it and what other people have said about it. Um, it's a good um, it's a good website. It's worth having. Um, and my favorite, Save the Best for Last, is the podcast done by David Barsamion on alternative radio. Um, he does... Um, interviews or records interviews with uh, the most progressive leaders. Uh, people he has had on before include Noam Chomsky, uh, Naomi Klein, uh, Chris Hedges, Cor I think he's had Cornell West on, I believe he has. Anyway, those types of folks. Um, and every once in a while he'll bring you something um, I call a blast from the past. Like the most recent one he had was um, Howard Zinn, may he rest in peace, who uh, did uh, something on the First Amendment. And um, Alternative Radio uh, replayed that. And let me tell you what, if you haven't listened to something on the First Amendment and want to learn how it really goes in America with the First Amendment, you should listen to David Barsamion's recording of uh, Howard Zinn uh, on his, uh, on his podca podcast. Uh, I also, on a regular basis, listen to the Tom Hartman program, both um, uh, his radio program and his uh, television program. They are certainly worth listening to, good sources of information. Uh, they provide me with information to help me decide what I'm going to do next. Uh, in addition to having a revolution, as we do here at the Garden, uh, at the Greenhouse, 
uh, on an individual basis. We also um, are linking up with other people. Uh, one of the things that we're trying to figure out now in Occupy Youngstown is what do we want to do with the um, uh, the pipeline that the uh, Native Americans are um, are doing actions on, and how can we help them? Uh, we also have had information from uh, sent to us by uh, Black Lives Matter, and we're looking at what we might want to do to link up with them. These are all things that Bernie Sanders is suggesting we do. Uh, in Youngstown, we have the ongoing struggle against uh, corporate corruption. Uh, government collusion, and uh, our right to choose what kind of companies we want in Youngstown. This is um, the effort of the Community Bill of Rights campaign. Uh, we make our own signs, we uh, distribute literature, the, um, we do our uh, grassroots fundraising, and we work on the Community Bill of Rights as an ongoing process. Um, Bernie Sanders suggests that you find something like that yourself. Look for something uh, that is a local issue that's related to um, uh, progressive politics, something that can contribute to the revolution, uh, and do that um, by yourself or do that by linking with groups who are tackling the specific issue, and then, as much as you can, do coalition building with other groups. Um, we, for instance, are going to be talking to the people who are um, uh, doing the um, Save the River project in Youngstown. Uh, it's called, uh, and then we're also working with uh, another environmental group called um, Guardians of Mill Creek Park. And uh, we also have a couple of local churches on board now who are helping us to deal with uh, Community Bill of Rights. Uh, the whole idea here is to interact with as many people as you can uh, and build coalitions. And one of the things that I've learned we, uh, is that it's important for you to become a leader in the revolution and to build um, coalitions and to keep a database of those people who are of like mind. At some point, the, and I've said this in other uh, um, sessions, video sessions, at some point, something big is going to happen. It's... Um, the principle is called the black swan principle. Uh, something big will happen and it will bring people together. And if you know who those people are, you've built your database, and uh, you've been out there doing uh, the revolution uh, by yourself and with small groups and in contact with other larger groups, um, you're ready for it. And that's what we need to do. Um, and it, it's time to uh, listen to those podcasts and stop listening to the mass media because they're bought. Uh, they're bought out by uh, uh, the corporations and they're bought out by the politicians. Um, one of the reasons I think that Bernie Sanders didn't get much media press was because the corporations had said no to Bernie Sanders because they're afraid of democratic socialism. Um, so there you have it. The revolution continues. It continues by uh, you building your own knowledge base. It continues by you doing your own actions. It continues by you uh, linking up with other people. Um, and it continues uh, in the hearts and minds of all of us who love our country. So there you have it. Thanks for tuning in again to the Off the Grid Revolution. Uh, we'll do some more stuff about food and individual actions that you can do to make a better world during another cast. Thanks. Thanks, Randy. You're welcome. Bye, everybody.